What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do cinematic effects in Sony Vegas. Now yes, I have made this before, however it was a long time ago, and now I'm actually going to be showing you some different settings to get a cinematic effect. If you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now the video I have loaded up right here is the energy ball effect that I've shown in the past. And as you'll see, it's just the example video like that. Now it's pretty plain, it's just a straight up video with an energy ball. However, why not add some cinematic effects to make it so much more better? So that's exactly what we're going to do. So remember this how it looks right now. Now the first one we need to do, make sure you're right at the start of your video, so left click right here. Then you'll need to come to your event pan and crop. If you don't see it right here, right click your video and then select video event pan crop. This is what you should get. Now from here, sync cursor should be checked. You should be at the very start. You should also be on position. The next thing you'll need to make sure size about center is checked. Now from there, what you're going to do is simply drag down and we're going to get these black bars, which of course cinematic black bars. Now, of course, I have to be careful because my hands are going to be showing the energy ball. I need to make sure the energy ball is in sight the entire time, since it is the main purpose of the video. So, I'm going to X out of this now, and I'm going to see what I've got. So for me, I'm happy with it. My hands are showing in the video, and so is the energy ball. Now from there, we're going to add video effects. So if you don't see this tab right here, come to View, Windows Layout, and Default Layout. So from video effects, we're going to come to color curves and just drag on warm colors. Drag it on the video track like so. Now from here, you want to drag this up a bit and you'll see it'll give us a brighter video. Just like so. And then you want to come to this one at the bottom and just drag it down a little bit to give us a darker effect. Just like that. You can see it's a bit red, but that's okay. X out of this. Now we're going to add on a yellow tint. So drag drop, and you'll see it's given us a yellow tint. It's a bit heavy, so we're going to drag this one down a bit. And just got to look for the right point, which is for us. Like, let's see. I think there's good for my video. It looks very good and cinematic for me. Now what you can do when you edit, come up here and just call this cinematic effect one and you can press this save preset and then you can call this cinematic effects two and then again press the save icon what this means when you come here as you'll see it'll be cinematic one and cinematic two you won't have to remember the settings again now the next thing i'm going to add you're going to come to soft contrast and drag on warm vignette and just drag and drop now for the contrast we can put it down just a little bit and then everything else here can stay the same the next we're going to do is come to Vignette, and now we're going to change the strength. So you can see this is the black around the edges. Just going to change the strength so only a bit of it is showing, just like that. And I'm happy with it. You can change a Vignette shape if you want to, completely up to you, but I wouldn't. And then the softness can stay the same, because you can see if we go too hard, that's what's going to happen. So I'm going to keep the softness at 100% or 50. And again, where it says preset, come and call this cinematic effect. You can press this save icon, X out of this, and you'll see it'll be saved here. Now, if we play through this again, it looks much more better. We have a cinematic effect, we have the black bars, and overall, the video just looks so much better than before. Now, you can see the energy ball color is still the same as well, so it hasn't affected that. It's just the video itself looks overall much more better. Now, of course, it is a bit blurry. Now, the reason for that, if you come and see this, it's not set to best. And the reason for that is because it won't render or play the best quality for you. And as you'll see, it already looks much more better like that. And that is how simple it is to do cinematic effects in Sony Vegas. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. 
With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated when you're posting on what we're posting. Also, be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel. Where I'll post four times a week. And finally, check out my Snapchat, which I'll show you what I do throughout my day. So, yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.